Hi, uh, today I'm going to show you how to remove the hard drive from the, um, the Xbox 360 Elite, which is this one, you know, the original 360. Uh, it has a 250 gig hard drive. And I got the newer Xbox 360 4 gig with the Kinect, which I've had these for a while, and now finally my original one, the Elite, got the uh, red ring of death. So I'm just going to take that hard drive and put it in this one since it didn't come with one, and I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, let's get started. Okay, to remove the hard drive on the 360 Elite, you'll look on the so this side, which you'll see the difference. This one's got an extension on it and this side does not. And there's a little button right here. You push it. It's hard holding that at an angle. And this piece comes out. And a two and a half inch hard drive is inside here. And you need a Torx bit T6 to get these screws out. And then you've got to pry it after that and get the hard drive out, okay? And then with the new one, you'll notice on the side with the feet on it, which is the little rubber feet here, because you can either lay it flat with these notches like this, or you can stand it up like this. Okay, on that side, there's a, a little, not a button really, but it is. It's a slide button. And you slide that and then that comes off and then that's where your hard drive is going to go alright I'm going to put that back for now now we've got the hard drive out of that I don't need that anymore okay so now you take this and with a Torx bit T6 as I said stated earlier And the fourth screw is under the Microsoft seal. They did that, so once you take that off, then you void the warranty. But mine is already void the warranty because of how old it is. And plus, I don't plan on using it anyway. I should have showed that. When you're prying this out, the screws come out. If you push in on the button again that you unlocked it with, it makes it snap right out. Okay, it's a T10 Torx bit for these screws. I didn't have that size for my little drill. So I'm doing these the old fashioned way by hand. But they're small screws so they come out with just, just a few t turns. So now that comes off and there's the hard drive there. Okay, now the SATA cable, which is this here, which is what's on all the new hard drives. You just take a screwdriver and just carefully pry this back and forth because you don't want to, until the hard drive comes out. And then it just slides up. And there's your two and a half inch, like a laptop hard drive, SATA. Okay, carefully slide it in. The way that's contoured, the hard drive stays right pretty much aligned. See, it won't, I can't push down on it because it stays right there. It will go up a little bit. So it's not going to take much to put something in there to keep it from moving around. If your hard, if, if the Xbox never moves, then you'd be safe because it's going to sit just like this on, on the feet. I don't sit mine up on the sides. I, I have it laid in my entertainment center like this because I like the way the DVD player comes out um, anyway so there you go now I'm going to go put everything back together and, and um, we'll go plug it in and see if it works okay so now we've got it turned on Oops, sorry go to settings system storage and now I see the 
the new hard drive and you'll see here it sees it as a Microsoft so it knows it's a Microsoft product so now I can start saving to that where before see I only had 317 megs free so now I can play some of my old games okay I hope you enjoyed the video I hope it helps you if you wanted to swap your hard drive over from one Xbox to the other and uh, keep on playing see you later